couple of messages. President Tinubu, in his letter to the House, requested approval for refund of 15.1 billion naira in promissory notes to the Kebi state government to enable the federal government take over the Berlin Kebi International Airport, as well as 9.5 billion naira to the Nasarawa state government for the newly constructed Nasarawa Cargo Airport, in line with constitutional provisions. By the provisions of item 3 of the second schedule of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 as amended, aviation, including airports, safety of aircraft and carriage of passengers and goods by air fall under the exclusive legislative list. The import of this is that ownership, regulations, and control of airports in Nigeria are exclusive to the federal government. The president also requested speedy passage of the National Anti-Doping Bill 2024 to create an independent anti-doping agency a requirement for Nigeria to achieve compliance with global standards ahead of the Olympic Games. In a separate letter, President Tinubu asked the House to approve a supplementary budget for the Federal Capital Territory to cater for critical projects omitted from the 2024 appropriation. In other resolutions, lawmakers called for a probe of genetically modified crops, provision of critical public infrastructure, and funding of medical research institutions to combat public health diseases. The committees on healthcare services and health institutions to investigate the state of medical research institutes in the country. Urge the federal government to suspend the introduction of newly enhanced genetically modified crops crops until an investigation is completed and the findings are made public. To order the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development to construct feeder roads in some selective villages wards in the federal constituency of Kaduna State. We need to reconstruct the Ose River Bridge in our federal constituency of Edo State. Provide for the establishment of Federal Medical Center Kafanchan, Kaduna State. And the House Committee on Commerce was mandated to investigate daily hike in the prices of commodities and report back within four weeks for further legislative action.